Good morning. Today is going to be zero day in Marion, Virginia. I have um, leaving G and Bill behind. Those guys just got to pick up. They're going back to the trail. Um, G is on uh, kind of a tight time schedule, so he's got to get to Harper's Ferry, and that's where his trip's going to end, so he has to continue. Um, I was chatting with Bill for a little bit. He may take a zero in like three days, so I may end up catching up and, and seeing Bill uh, again, so that'd be cool. Anyway, something else that was kind of neat that happened. So yesterday evening, and there's only one laundry machine here, so all three of us just consolidated our clothes, and we were going to throw them all into one laundry um, go just to, to get the laundry done faster. Anyway. I ended up missing a sock. One of my Njinji liner socks went missing. So I wasn't too worried about it. I'm like, okay, maybe it got mixed up. Um, somebody else was using laundry right after us, so maybe it got mixed up in their stuff. So I figure, you know, whatever. It'll it'll find its way back to me. Someone will realize they got an extra sock in their load, and and maybe I'll, I'll get it back. Worst case scenario, I'd have to buy new socks. So anyway, this morning, um, as Bill and G were getting ready to go, they were um, with another guy who um, was the one who was doing laundry after us and he had the extra sock. And so anyway, the sock got back to me. But what was cool is this other guy was like, wait a minute, you're Goob? And he actually recognized me from, he had seen um, one of my videos from a couple of months ago, one of my practice hike videos. So I was, it was kind of a cool moment. I was waiting for this to happen to where um, I finally got recognized from my YouTube videos as a hiker. So that was that was kind of neat, he knew who I was. So he already had, um, I'm planning on leaving tomorrow morning and he already had a, a shuttle booked, so I'm just gonna jump in with him. So that's kind of all taken care of for getting the ride back to the trail tomorrow. And for now, I'm hiking down to the McDonald's. I'm gonna get some McDonald's breakfast. And then across the street from there was the Walmart and we'll finish up our resupply. And then when we get back to the um, hotel room, I'll show what all my um, foodstuffs and whatever, and my total game plan for getting uh, to the next destination. But let's get some breakfast. All the indoor seating was closed at McDonald's, but we can get a seat outside. This is gonna be uh, McDonald's round one. The sausage, egg, biscuit meal thing with a coffee. I don't think I can get to 3,000 calories, but we'll see. And here's McDonald's breakfast. Round two is gonna be the uh, burrito meal with an orange juice. I think this is gonna be it. Done with breakfast, now into Ingalls for resupply. Okay, resupply is complete. Let's take a look at what the next stretch looks like. It's gonna be about 100 miles. This is where we're getting back on trail at the visitor center road uh, 16. An 18 mile stretch to Reed Creek. There's some campsites there, I think. Then about a 17 mile to the Chestnut and Knob shelter. 20 mile day to a random stealth site that I think might be findable at around mile 590. Then a 19 mile day will get us to this road via 606. And the Weary Feet Hostel is there, so I'm gonna try to stay there for that night. 17 and a half mile day will get us to Doc's Knob Shelter, and then a short eight mile day will get us right into Parisburg. So Parisburg is going to be the next uh, milestone resupply point. And here's what my five and a half day resupply is going to look like. First day out of here, I don't need a breakfast. I'm going to eat up at McDonald's before hitting the trail. So I'm going to use uh, eight bars per day for snacking. No lunches planned. And then that'll be dinner, Mountain House meal, day two. Full uh, breakfast bars, eight snack bars, dinner. Day three will be the same with dinner. Day four, breakfast, snack, lunches. Day four was where we're getting into the uh, Weary Feet Hostel, and they say they do dinner there, so I've got no dinner planned on this day. And they say they also can do a breakfast, so I've got no breakfast planned for this next morning. Just snacks, dinner for day five, and then the last day will be just an eight mile stretch and I've got some breakfast and just uh, four snack bars to get to Parisburg. This is gonna be pretty light for a five and a half day stretch and there also could be a random lunch option at like uh, a grocery store that might be along the way and then there's might be a restaurant along the way. I'm not really banking 100% on those options but that could be also a place to get a meal. 
And I think that's about it for this zero day. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. We're hitting the trail tomorrow. I'm gonna go get one more McDonald's breakfast before we head out. I think today was overall pretty productive. I didn't do much, just uh, mainly rest in the feet. Got whatever resupplies and food items that I needed to get taken care of, taken care of. I'm not 100% set on whether my feet are actually gonna be okay once we hit the trail tomorrow, as in if they'll be any better or not. Just walking around town with new insoles and stuff, they're definitely better than what they've been. But again, once I get on the trail and start pushing like 15 plus mile days, that's gonna be the real test. They're still a little on the sore side though. Maybe another day of uh, resting will help uh, at some degree, but we'll see. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the morning, getting back on trail. Good morning, up early. I'm just gonna run down to McDonald's real quick, get breakfast to go, go back to the hotel. It's nice and cool, like 60 degrees, but it's very um, kind of humid, damp, a little bit of foggy weather. Might be totally like socked in clouds and stuff up in the mountains, we'll see. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but it's maybe kind of this gloomy, overcast weather, maybe. But let's go get some food. Same breakfast as yesterday. Two meals, coffee, orange juice. Take a little time off, yeah. But I got you and Skinhead and Frankie and Trouble and Ellie and uh, Ducky and these two. This is a hiker van for sure. It was awesome. Alright, and now we're back in the woods. That shuttle driver guy was pretty cool. I think his name was Jimmy. Old Vietnam vet dude. Decked out van. It was pretty cool. You had to sign it, had my name to the list. Anyway, we're dropped off back at the little ranger station visitor center thing near the partnership shelter, so we're back where we started. I'm trying out my new insoles, we'll see how that goes. So far so good, I think. Today we're shooting for like an 18 mile day, I think it was. And there's no good shelter options kind of at that distance, so it'll be kind of stealth camping. Not stealth necessarily, but some campsite I can find in that kind of area that I want to hit. And something else I didn't mention for yesterday, but I went ahead and ordered. I think I'm due for new shoes anyway. They usually, trail runners only last like 500 to 700 miles or so. Plus I had like 100 miles on my shoes before we started, so. They're 600 and something miles on these shoes already. They're not really falling apart or anything, but it's kind of that time anyway where I need new ones. So I've ordered ordered some new ones, had them shipped to a hostel in Parisburg. So they'll meet me there. And I think that's about it for now. Get hiking. More rocky trail this morning. Rumor has it, it kind of lightens up though throughout the day. I'll be glad when this kind of ends. It's just the worst stuff to walk on. Rocks, 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 rocks. I hate these rocks. This is terrible. All morning, still on the rocks, still painful on the feet. Though don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining too much about it. There's still nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Just telling it like it is. I've been trying to rest up my feet, give some reprieve, but the trail's not having it. And that's all right, I guess. I just gotta push my way through it until the rocks end for a bit. 
view of Walker Mountain. One of those out there, I guess. And we're in and out of the Chatfield shelter. That was just a quick 15 minute break. Just get a snack. I just needed to get um, weight off my feet. Just to rest my feet for a bit. Ugh. And um, we're still in the rocks. But what's neat coming up is there's um, an 1890s old farmstead turned into a museum thing coming up. That's right off the side of the trail. Like a mile and a half from here. So we'll go check that out. And I think ooh, that's kind of the same area where there's an old um, schoolhouse that everybody kind of has in their videos that's right on the side of the trail too. So we'll see that as well coming up here in just a little bit. Finally getting away from the rocks for a bit. Here's the split off for the farm museum. Museum. It's just a point one side trail, so I'm gonna go check it out. Some of the comments and gut hooks kind of, um, I don't know if they're open, but I guess you can go up and still see some old timey farm equipment and old homesteads and whatnot. So we'll see what this looks like. Kind of neat. I guess the white building's the main house. Farm shop. Old plows. The corn crib. Chicken house. The main house looks beautiful. That'll be cool looking. Old cellar. Well, that doesn't sound scary at all. Cool view, though. I wouldn't want to live in one of those houses right next to these power lines. And here's the little schoolhouse that I was talking about earlier. Just right on the side of the trail. And it should be open. You can just go in and check it out. Linda Mood School, 1894. Enjoy your stay at the schoolhouse. Oh yeah. I'll take a good look at the names and see if there's anyone I recognize later. 
unless you can freeze frame it and capture some. Got a log book and a hiker box, I think, too. Pretty cool. So I just signed the uh, log book here and the tub over here that I thought was just some like generic uh, hiker box stuff is actually a whole bunch of trail magic. So that's awesome. I don't know if I really need anything though. Maybe take a Nutri-Grain bar. And here's where we're going back in the woods. And there's a deer in the background. If you saw it. Yeah, there he is. Looks like the start of another boardwalk section. Going through forests and up and over mountains is cool and all. But this is exactly the kind of stuff that I want to see too. If you know what type of bushes these are with the white flowers in these fields, let me know. Leave a comment below. Campsite option here. Blue blaze for water. It's down here somewhere. I'm gonna go follow this and fill up. Chill here for a bit. Reassess my game plan. I think I'm still a good number of miles from my intended campsite, but I'm sore. So we'll see what I can do today. Okay, I rested in that campsite area for a little bit. Checking out gut hooks comments, seeing where people are talking about stealth sites and other camping things up ahead. So my intended campsite is still like five miles from here. I don't know if I'm gonna make that, so backup plans. There's some other camping sites and stuff, which are only like three miles from here, which you can do that. But I just loaded up on water. I'm gonna have to do a water carry till I get there. Let's make sure I got enough for tonight and early morning. Whew, so that's what I'm planning on so far. So I'm just a little heavy right now. <laughs> but I can do three more miles. <sighs> and get there shortly. Holy cow, is this a pleasant surprise. So, the 100 mile markers have been nice, but I feel like this, this is a major milestone. 25% done. That is crazy. And this site coming up is where a shelter used to be. This is the old Davis Path Shelter, but they still have a privy. I don't know if anybody maintains it, so I don't know if you want a million people to use it, but I 
got something there. Maybe a old picnic table or something still here. I wonder why they would have um, taken it down or whatever. It would have been nice to have a shelter here. Yeah, picnic table's all that's left. Well, I was really thinking about staying at that last site where the disused shelter was at, but there were some bees and stuff around the area, so I was like, I get it a little bit further. There's another campsite that was showing on gut hooks which is this little spot. It just says it was a small spot for like a tent or two at most, which is right next to the trail. I don't know if you'd call this a stealth site, but it's uh, it's something. I think I'm gonna stay here for tonight. My feet are pretty sore. I was trying to get as close as possible to um, my intended site, which would set me up closer for getting to um, a shelter. Chestnut knob or something like that, I think, is what I'm trying to aim for for tomorrow. But that's gonna be a, like a 20 or 21 mile day now but we'll be able to get up early and get more miles in for tomorrow. Plus we won't have all the nonsense of rocks like we did this morning. So I think I'm gonna set my tent up right here. Whew, I think it's like five o'clock or so, maybe a little after five. So it's still on the early side, but this is a really nice spot. It's nice and cool. We'll see how cold it gets. It chills down later tonight. We're kind of right on this little ridge. A little breeze blowing. All right, I'm gonna get set up. Got my tent all set up. Time to hang the rock sack. First try. And I think that's going to be it for today. Got dinner done, food bag and everything's hung. This is going to be the first night on the entire trip that I'm going to be by myself. So that's going to be kind of weird. I don't mind it at all. But it's just different. On a trail that's so popular and I've always had someone around me. It's just different. But this will be nice. Anyway, I'll go ahead and uh, sign off for now. I think we did an okay-ish push. I would like to have done a couple more miles today, but um, that'll make tomorrow like a 21 mile day, maybe, I think, 20 or 21, but it's gonna be bigger than intended. But the shelter that we're aiming for for tomorrow is gonna be pretty cool. Um, I won't spoil the surprise, and we'll see that for tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.